All right, I'm here with Alexander Mercurius, editor in chief of the Duran. And Alexander, I would like your quick take on MBS, Ben Salman, the Crown Prince, um, speaking out for the first time, I believe the first time in public, uh, at his Davos in the Desert Conference about the Khashoggi murder. And you also have some information about MBS speaking with Turkey's Erdogan. We did a video on this the other day, yesterday to be exact. And um, MBS has now reached out to the Turkish president. What's your quick take, Alexander? Right. MBS is on a massive damage limitation exercise. Yesterday, he spoke to Khashoggi's family. To, today, he spoke to Erdogan. Apparently, he didn't say very much, but he tried to make out, you know, that he's really upset, upset and condemns all of this. And now he made certain public comments that this Davos on, in the desert, this economic junket that he's holding... Um, with the uh, crown prince of Dubai there, the prime minister of Lebanon there, talked about it being a heinous crime, trying to distance himself from this whole thing, make out that he's the innocent party trying to have this whole thing investigated. I think an awful lot of people will be really suspicious about all of this. And there was something that uh, um, MBS did, which I am sure is going to make people even more cynical about this exercise, which is uh, next to him, he had the Prime Minister of Lebanon there, uh, Said Hadidi, who, of course, he had kidnapped just about a year ago. So, I, I mean, you know, here we go. Uh, uh, MBS trying to look innocent, and he's got next to him someone else who he's got uh, uh, um, um, form with, and even he even joked about it. He said, I hope that this time for so long or something to that effect. So um, um, damage limitation, which I don't think is going to convince many people. All right. So you don't think it'll work. What do you think uh, Erdogan's going to want from MBS in order to, uh, to, to pull him out of the fire, so to speak? I think, first of all, he's going to want money. I mean, with Erdogan, Erdogan needs a lot of money at the moment. Turkey is in uh, financial problems. And, of course, um, um, he's managed already to extort $15 billion from the Qataris, who are, uh, uh, look to Erdogan as their protector. And he's going to want money now from the Saudis also. But I think, ultimately... What Erdogan wants is he wants to take MBS down several pegs so that Erdogan can make it absolutely clear to the Saudis that it is Erdogan, not MBS and not the Saudis, who is the leader, the effective leader of the Sunni Muslim world. And that's, I think, the agenda that Erdogan is playing. And I think having MBS telephoning him, uh, um, basically acting in a subservient manner, that is what Erdogan really is looking for at the moment. And real quick, Alexander, the Davos of the Desert, um, I believe 50 billion in contracts were signed. So can we say that being realistic people, uh, the Khashoggi thing will wash away eventually and it will be business as usual with Saudi Arabia because Saudi Arabia has got the money and it's ready to buy. Well, I think that's probably true. I mean, I think ultimately, um, un until we see a real crisis in Saudi Arabia, which, by the way, I'm sure is going to happen at some point, though I don't know when and I'm not making any predictions about when. But I think until then, we're going to see lots of people wanting to do business with Saudi Arabia, whoever is in charge. However badly Saudi Arabia behaves, the Russians, for example, have already made it very clear that as far as they're concerned. What Saudi Arabia did to, to Khashoggi is none of their business. And I think the U.S. and Donald Trump are saying the same. And I think lots of other people will say the same also. Even Canada, which has had a big uh, quarrel with Saudi Arabia recently over Canadian criticism of Saudi Arabia, they seem to be pressing ahead with good relations with Saudi Arabia also. So I'm afraid money talks and the Saudis have lots of it, and um, I'm afraid that's the uh, big card that they're playing, and I'm afraid it trumps all the others. It's just the way the world works. Alexander McCurse, um, thank you for your quick take on MBS speaking out about the Khashoggi murder and also speaking to Erdogan. Guys, click on that uh, subscribe button.
click on the notifications bell, buy a t-shirt with Duran, donate to our Patreon and PayPal pages. Alexander, that is your dog. He is calling you. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Alexander, for your quick take. Until next time, take care.